Good morning and thank you for watching DC Honey Bees TV. Today we're going to be making my version of BT by the five gallon bucket. I start with bringing to a boil half a gallon of water on the stove top. Look when you show the water. Well, I already did. Into this water I'm going to put two bags of this uh, herb tea. This is non-caffeinated herb tea, chamomile tea. I'm going to put two bags of that in there and then one bag of this lemon flavored BT. And I'm going to let that steep uh, for about 10 minutes. Okay, we've let that uh, tea, those tea bags steep for about 10 minutes in the boiling water. Uh, again, it's half a gallon of water. And into this we're going to add 10 pounds of sugar. Turn the heat down while you add this. It looks like a substantial amount of sugar in it that it won't dissolve, but trust me it will. You can leave the tea bags in or take them out, it's up to you. Now I'm just going to stir that sugar in until it dissolves. And it won't completely dissolve until the water temperature comes up to temperature again. But what you want to do is get the sugar partially dissolved so that it won't stick to the bottom and burn. We don't want to caramelize any sugar here. That's moving pretty freely right now, so I've turned the heat up a little bit. I'm also going to add the juice of one lemon. The juice does a couple of things. One is it's a vinegar, it's um, an acid, and so the acid will help convert or invert some of the sucrose sugar that's in here into glucose and fructose which is closer to what honey is. It also adds some lemon flavor which the bees like and it attracts the bees and it gives them some vitamin C as well. And finally because our bees need a little bit of salt I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of salt in there Stir that in. And about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Again, the vinegar is acidic, so it helps invert the sugar. Um, it will also act as a preservative for the tea while it's in the feeders. And it does bring, uh, bring the uh, acidity, or increase the acidity of the mixture, which again is closer to honey's true acidity. We're going to stir this a little bit, turn the heat up, and bring it up to a boil. Okay, you can see that this uh, concoction has come to a boil, and all the sugar has dissolved. Now we're going to turn the heat down to a simmer, so that it just slowly boils, just about like that. And we're going to have this simmer for about 20 minutes. This will complete the inversion process, or at least get the inversion process started to invert some or all of the sugar. Um, be careful with this syrup, though. It's extremely hot. We don't want to uh, boil it too rapidly, or it will foam over, and it makes quite a mess. And, but um, this is a great way to um, get your sugar syrup to be more like honey for the bees. So we're going to boil this again for about 20 minutes. I have, uh, I have filled this five gallon bucket up a little less than halfway with uh, hot water right from the tap. Into that we're going to pour a ten, 10 pounds worth of sugar into this warm water. That's 
And then we're going to stir this until it fully dissolves. It'll just take a minute or so of stirring. By the way, this five gallon batch will make one to one syrup. So it's 20 pounds of sugar to about to about two gallons of water, plus or minus. And that makes five gallons total of syrup. You can see that that's totally dissolved now. Now we're going to take our invert sugar solution, which is very concentrated. I'm going to remove the tea bags. And carefully take this off the stove, it's still very hot. And pour it in the bucket. So now we have a solution that's about half sucrose and about half invert sugar. I'm going to stir those together. And I'm going to bring this up to five gallons with just regular cold tap water. Fill the bucket up just to make it up to five gallons. This is all sort of approximate, member, uh, approximate measurements, by the way. That's about five gallons. I'm going to add to this, like we did to the inversion process, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Again, that helps keep mold from developing and keeps the sugar from ferment, the sugar syrup from fermenting while it's in the feeder. And I'm going to take one centrum vitamin, any kind of multivitamin. And I'm using a mortar and pestle. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to grind that up into a fine, fine powder. And I'm going to add this to the syrup as well because we all need we all need our vitamins. I'm going to stir that all together to make sure it's the, the vitamins are dissolved and dispersed. And that's it. That's five gallons of BT to feed our bees in our hive top feeders or also in our, um, in our division board feeders. Thank you for watching DC Honey Bees TV and thank you for supporting our mission to get more hives on more rooftops in Washington. Thanks.